joining me with this month's Littles Art Project. So our art project this month is Paint-tastic Marble Mania. And you should have already from the library gotten your Paint-tastic Marble Mania Take and Bake bag, which comes with a baking sheet tray. If you didn't receive the tray with your bag, make sure to come in and get a tray from us so that you can do this art project. And we also encourage that you grab some paper towel or wet wipes or other kind of cleaning implement just in case our paint gets a little messy. All right, let's get going. All right, so let's go over everything that's in the take and make bag. And for my caregivers, if anything in the that I talk about right now is not in your bag, come in and we will make sure you have everything you need for your project. So first is the paint tray, which should come with six different colors of paint. To go along with this, there should be a little bag of six marbles and six flat white plastic spoons. You should also, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, have a little baking sheet tray to do the project in, and there should be four pieces of cardstock. And we recommend that you grab paper towel or wet wipes or some other cleaning wipes from your house to take care of any paint messes. Okay, so now we're gonna get going. So my caregivers, as you can see, the first thing I've done is I've spread paper towel all over my painting surface, and I would recommend you do the same with paper, newspaper, paper towel, wet wipes, whatever you have at home, so that we can keep everything contained. All right, once you've done that, my littles, you can go ahead and take out your thing of paint, and we are going to first open up all six of our paint tubes. So, you're going to take these little tabs right here. Here, I'll lift it up so you can see. There, they have little tabs right here on the end that make opening them super easy. So, I'm going to very carefully put one of my fingers underneath and lift up with my other hand so that my paint is open. And then the lid should stay open just like this. So, moving on to my next one, I hold on with one finger, lift with my other hand, so that my second paint is open. And now I'm going to put my finger right here and lift with my other hand for my third paint. All right, and I'm gonna move my tray over a little bit so I can reach my fourth paint. Place my finger right here, lift with my other hand to have my fourth paint open. Now for my fifth one, I press down with my finger lift with my other hand so now that one's open and moving on to my last one one more time my finger right here lift with my other hand and now all six of my paints are open so now i can move my tray back to the middle all right little so the next thing you're going to do is go for your bag of marbles and you're going to open it up and we're gonna count our marbles to make sure we have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Now, I'm going to decide which of my marbles is going to go with which of my paint colors because you should have one marble for each color of paint. So I'm going to take each marble and put it right in front of my paint colors to help me remember which marble goes with which color of paint. So now I have a line of six marbles and a line of six paints. Now we're going to take our spoons and make sure I have six of those because those also have one of each spoon for one of each color of paint and one of each marble. So let's make sure one, two, three, four, five, and six. Good. If for some reason you don't have six spoons in your bag caregivers, 
just pop on down to the library. We have lots of extra spoons and we will make sure that you have six spoons to go with your six colors of paint and your six marbles. So littles, what I'm gonna have you do right now is put your spoons off to the side because we're going to use those in a minute. Now that we're sure we have six spoons to go with our six paints and our six marbles. So. Okay, so now that I've made sure I have my six colors of paint, my six marbles, and my six spoons, I'm going to take one piece of cardstock and just stick it right down into my tray so that it's just resting down there in the bottom. Okay, so now you're going to take one of your marbles for one of your colors, whichever color is your favorite, whichever color is the brightest, go ahead and decide with your caregiver which color you want to start with. And so I am going to start with this blue color right up here because blue is my favorite color. And I'm going to grab the marble that I've already decided goes with my blue paint. And I'm going to boop, drop it right down into my paint. Now caregivers, this is where you're going to need to help your little a little bit. So now you're going to take one of the white spoons caregivers and you're gonna kind of move the marble around so that it's all covered in paint. And I would recommend using the bottom of the spoon to fish the marble out. There we go. And drop it right down into the tray. And now that this spoon has blue paint on it, caregivers, this is why you have six spoons. This can always be your blue spoon so that you don't mix up the different paint colors. So I'm gonna set my blue spoon aside so that I remember that that's my blue spoon. All right, littles, now that your marble is all set in your tray, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up your tray and just start rolling it around. Whoa! painting look at that that's so much fun it's going all the way around it's making different patterns different types of lines all right and now it looks like my marbles just about out of paint so I can set my tray back down you can grab your marble back out littles and since this is the marble that goes with my blue paint before I do anything else, I'm going to take my marble and put it back next to my blue paint so that I don't forget. Okay, so now we're going to add our second color and what I love as a color combination is blue and brown. So I'm going to pick up the marble that goes with my brown paint and I'm going to boop drop it right in there and caregivers this is when you can grab another clean white spoon you can move the marble around to make sure it's all covered in paint and then again I recommend using the bottom of the spoon to go ahead and fish your marble back out of the paint and drop it back into the tray and then I'm gonna set this spoon aside so I remember it is my brown spoon. And I'm just gonna wipe the paint off my fingers real quick. And then, okay, littles, it's time for round two. Are you ready? We can pick up our tray, and I'm gonna go this way this time. Whoa, oh my gosh, look at it, it's so cool. Whoa! And I'm gonna try and aim my marble right for that big glob of paint. Let's see if I can do it. There it goes, so that it can go a little bit longer. All right, I think it's just about out, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my tray back down on the paper towel, reach in and grab my marble. And because I decided this was my brown marble, I'm going to set it back down in front of my brown paint before I do anything else so that I don't forget. Okay, next color, are you ready? Go ahead and decide what your next color is. My next color is going to be this bright pink color. So I'm going to pick up the marble that goes with that pink color and boop, drop it right down in the pink. And my caregivers, you can grab another clean spoon, 
go ahead and tap that marble down and cover it up with paint. And then once again, I recommend using the bottom of the spoon to fish the marble back out. There it is. And drop it back in the tray. And then now that this is my pink spoon, I can set it to the side. All right, littles. Are you ready to have some paintastic marble mania fun again? Here we go. We're going to pick up our tray again. And I'm going to go right towards you this time. Whoa, there it goes. Woo! And now I have my blue, my brown, and my pink making such a cool pattern together. Look at all that. I'm going to go from side to side. Just like that. Whoa. And it looks like my pink has just about run out. So I'm going to put my tray back on the paper towel. And just like with my blue and my brown, I'm going to reach in, grab my marble, and put it back next to my pink color. Now, I'm pretty happy with this painting, but it needs just a little bit more, so I'm going to add one more color, okay? And I think I'm going to add a little bit of black to this to give it a little darkness. So I'm going to pick up the marble that I decided goes with my black paint, and I'm gonna boop, drop it right in there. And my caregivers, once again, grab another clean spoon, Move that marble around to make sure it gets covered with all the paint. And again, I recommend using the bottom of the spoon to fish your marble back out. There it is. And drop it in your tray. And now that this is my black spoon, I can set this aside. I'm going to pick my tray up again and this time I'm gonna move the black marble towards me. Whoa, there it goes, and it's off. Whee! Look at it, look how cool the black looks with the pink and the blue and the brown, making all sorts of fun patterns. Every time I run through a big glob of paint, it mixes the paint together in cool patterns. There it goes, there it goes. Are you having fun, littles? I'm having fun. All right, give it a couple more passes, and done. So I'm gonna set my tray back down on the paper towel. All right, so now that I'm done with my black marble, I'm going to take it back out of my tray, and to make sure I remember that this is my black marble, I'm gonna put it right down next to my black paint. All right, I am very happy with this picture, so I'm going to go ahead and pull it out of my tray. And now I can set it aside to dry, and then I can hang it up in my house, wherever I'd like. I hope you had so much fun with that, Busy. I hope you had so much fun with that, Littles. May, remember, you have three more pieces of cardstock, and of course, you can use any other paper you have around your house. Just a quick note, caregivers, because of the size of the tray, I did have to trim this paper down so that it is 10 inches wide by seven and a half inches long. So, if you want, you can trim paper you have at your house down to that same size, or you can use just regular eight and a half by 11 printer paper. Just know that it will stick up a little more in the tray than it did today. All right, there it is. Thank you so much for doing this project with me. I hope you had lots of fun. We encourage you to keep making more and more art projects. Like I said before, there are four sheets of cardstock in the bag. So just keep creating projects. Keep letting your imagination go wild and have lots and lots of fun. Bye.